Hi everyone, I'm going to do an unboxing of our brand new Rocket Books, which are the ones called Everlast. So in our box, we got a total of 10 different um, Everlast books. And so they come individually wrapped. And for these, each one of them should have their own pen in it. So I'm going to show you what's inside of this new Everlast Rocket Book. So the packaging is really nice. It comes with little perforations so that you don't rip it too badly. And then it comes with a little zip side on it. So there's our book, and then on the side pocket should be our pen. So from what I've read, this Everlast book requires these friction pens. So the one that came with this book uh, looks like it's going to be a black one. So you get like a microfiber cloth for removing the ink from the pages. And you get one black pen. So we're going to keep these because my students are going to be using them at Ursuline College and they're gonna be issued their own rocket book and we'll use that to put their name on it and stuff. So, when you open it up, it shows the different symbols that you can use to upload your note directly to a particular place. So, when you go to do get the Everlast app or the Rocket app, you can say where you want those, where you want those, um, d the destination for any of the pages. So when you open the Rocket Book app, you can set up where you want your page to go. And so I've, all my students are going to be using OneNote. So I can just tell them what each symbol is going to be and then I will uh, be able to um, make the destination. So I have the rocket book destination um, going to my chemistry, um, uh, the student's chemistry book. And then I have the diamond one going to another one of my OneNote notebooks, but not the same one as my chemistry book. All right, well, so what we're supposed to be able to do is doesn't seem to want to work. Aha. So, to turn to use the pen, slide the clip on it and then this one says that this is the eraser for this pen and so there's a, some criteria that they say you should use as you're using the the pen it says write on it and let it sit for 15 seconds and don't smudge um, the writing and so what we're gonna do is um, so so only use these Pilot friction pens, and they do come in all different colors as well. So I just bought one for each of the books, but eventually I'll get the colors because when you do the colors, they'll um, the picture that gets uploaded will include the colors that you used. Um, and then it says to prevent smudging, allow 15 seconds for the friction ink to dry onto the page. 
and then make sure that you don't let it be too hot or else your ink will disappear. So over 140 degrees Fahrenheit, your ink will disappear. Um, so don't leave it in your hot car. Um, but if you accidentally do leave it in your hot car, put it in the freezer for 20 minutes and the ink will come back and be bright again. And so we're going to, I'm going to write something first and then I'm going to go through this little erasing thing and see how we like erasing. So I'm just going to do something that just tells my students, welcome to the class. me great like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that sit and then I'm going to upload it to my students so for them it will be the rocket uh, icon the first one on the list so I'm going to put a mark over the rocket one. And uh, if this works correctly, by doing that, this page will get uploaded directly to the place that I told it to, which is these students' OneNote notebook. So let's do that first, and then we'll practice erasing it. So in my app, I'm going to go to new scan and then I'll say allow rocket book to see my camera and I think we have to get the QR code in the corner so when I did it on my screen and there was a uh, some little corner pieces so that the little corner um, needed to be the edges of these and then when it was green then it took the picture and um and now it's going to upload it to my web note So for me, I'm going to rename this so that it'll just say welcome. And then I'm going to send it. So then I'm going to go into OneNote and I'm just going to use the OneNote app and see if I can see that one. But most of my students will use OneNote from their computers. So that'll take a second to do. And um, I'm going to go and erase this page now. And so they talked about how making sure that the pad that you use to erase is damp but not drippy, but also can't be dry. So it has to be a perfect mix of wet and uh, dry.
So while that one note opens, I'm gonna go get this little microfiber wet. So in my uh, OneNote page for my students chemistry class, um, there is in, uh, I told Rocketbook to send it to the content library. And the content library now has a new page called Rocketbook. And now the Rocketbook has that message that I gave them as a PDF file. And so this is what the students can see. And you can clearly see it says, welcome to Ursuline College. Uh, Chem 106 and 106 Lab, and there's my name, Dr. Berenger Mathis, on there. So you can see that when, when my pen was a little bit thin, right on the edge of that W, so it was a little thin in the picture that it took. So make sure that the picture that you have here is the intensity that you want because it will reflect the exact same intensity on the page and it'll be reflected in the picture. So I chose to upload this as a PDF file, but you have other choices for um, so putting it up as a PDF file. And now if this was a piece of homework or whatever, the students could also download it and keep a copy if they needed to but this is what it will look like when Rocketbook sends it to your OneNote. So let's see what it looks like when we try to erase. So this has been plenty of time for the 15 seconds to set into the page. So I have taken the microfiber and I think I've followed what it says. And it says, um, dampen the part of the towel with water and use that portion to wipe the page. Then wipe it with the dry portion of the towel and any towel will work, but microfiber works the best. So only write on pages that are completely dry. Writing on a damp page doesn't work well and it may damage the surface of the page. So for best results, uh, we suggest keeping the Everlast pages wiped clean, leaving the ink on the page for over a month may make it difficult to erase completely. And so the important thing that my students are going to be using the rocket foot for is they're going to be doing the work on their homework on these pages and then they'll upload them to OneNote and then I'll be able to correct their mistakes. So I, I did the whole thing wet so I'm just gonna use another microfiber to dry it. So let's see how it, oh, that's super easy. So you actually see a little teeny bit of, of what looks like wet paper, but there's actually no black ink anymore. It's all completely gone. So I may do a little bit more, like a little shadow right there. So to me, that looks like two little wet spots right there, but in a minute, it looks like they're gonna dry. So on the front of the rocket book, you can actually record where you've set um, the destination for all the different icons. So as you look through the other pages, there's one full one and then two and three. So they have plenty of pages for even a long project. So it goes all the way up to 32 pages. 
And this one um, is the newest one from Rocketbook. And it says that this will be forever, that we will be able to continue to use them, wipe them clean, and um, upload the pictures, and then let it dry and use it again. Well, I'm pretty impressed so far. And so I will make another video in a little while, uh, getting my students feedback on how they like their rocket book.